Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you um, as well. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And as always give a fyi the the channel and as well as my essence is always divinely protected whatever you are bring, bringing towards my way that is based on distraction uh dis, uh distraction and destroy is always return back to sender and set minds with love and blessings and healing and uplift uh the video i'm doing right now is twin flame 101 hey okas you are starting the me movement um, and baby is truly needing uh, when you're allowing yourself to be there's times where universe is guiding us to be a little bit more selfish with our needs you know um, being more selfless with our needs it, it's just like you know um, a lot of times we may be stuck in a rut you know feeling funky energy it, you know it's natural we get like that you know you're a spiritual being with human experience and there'll be times that you're going to really go through stuff and I notice a lot with me I'm not saying everybody is like that but if I know if I talk to uh, my spiritual fam and stuff like that, just to be able to crack jokes, you know, just give somebody an uplift and like, hey, you know, I love you. You're doing great. You know, um, you, you've been working so hard and knowing that you got beautiful things coming your way. And you don't realize when you're placing that loving vibration on other people, that tends to uplift me. I don't know about other people, but it tends to. It's just like when I was doing the videos the other day, you know, I had one of my love bugs um, that was like, girl, it's like your, your energy. There's so many different things that was coming out at one time. I said, you got to understand, you've been with me for a while. You got to know I got I got ADD like crazy and it's uh, OCD and um. Uh, P, uh, CPTSD all, all that working along with it and I'm like I can be on one subject and jump to a other one I'm like hey you gotta be on point you gotta be able to keep up you know but it made me feel so good being able to be you know keep it real you know a lot of times you have to be vulnerable and you know starting that me 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 movement i didn't want to say me too because i was like oh don't say that uh me movement you know you're, you're wanting to see you when you know you're working hard on your your positivity you're working hard on loving self knowing your worth you know uh knowing that your your aunt your authenticity within life is mattered and that that purpose is truly needed in in the life you you see so many different things that's going on in the world where we can't count you know it'll be you you'll hear about 10 things or five things that's good that's going on in the world and next thing you know you'll hear about a hundred different things that's going off in the back and it, it's just like when you know it, it's just like you'll see these different posts that comes up at times you know uh it, it, you're gonna see it on um many um social media uh platforms where it's like you you know be that person you want to see coming out of the world you know when you're going through that change you have to go through that change you want the world to go through and for us to be able to do that you know being selfless is just like a lot of times we can give ourselves to other people and then when it's like when we're needing that for ourselves you get straight tapped out and these are the different things you're going through these many different changes that's going on in the world and a lot of it is really heavy you know, and I tell people it's heavy. You know, I, like a time there'll be times where I'm just like on here, and then next thing you know, emotions will come sneak up on me. I'm like, hey, I'm not trying to do that today. I ain't trying to do it tomorrow either. I hate crying, but it'll be different times where universe is like, it's okay. You know, people need to see that. You know, there's a lot of people that are going through things like you're going through things, and just being able to show somebody is reciprocating the pain that they struggle to project towards other people on saying, "Hey, I'm not okay today. I just need somebody to give me a hug and tell me it's okay," or just being able to remind me that I'm doing the best that I can, even when you are struggling to be positive, knowing you got so many negative aspects that's going on in your life. Just know, hey, you you doing beautiful. You know, even when, when you're you're allowing yourself to switch off in the bed, knowing there'll be so many different things that make you want to lay down because you may there'll be maybe a lot of things that you're stressing out or, or worried about or is out of your control and you're just trying to get up today and say, you know what, let me just go outside today, even if it's just sit out for you know, ten minutes just to be with nature. I wanna be able to do that. You know, being able to trust your intuitive. 
trust your gut on doing that because maybe there's a lot of times you went through external validations on trying to validate different things that your body is already trying to tell you that's your me movement you know you're going through these different things and just being able to say you know it'll be, it'll be making you like hey i'm hitting the death of my chest you know i'm really I'm, you know I'm just being able to say hey you know, checking your own self. There'll be different times when you know you're going through stuff and you're tired of your own self. There'll be different times like, look, I'm tired of your ish. You know, I'm tired of you. It's like, the thing, you see all these people leaving you? I'm going to leave you in a minute if you don't quit doing all this stuff. You know, you're doing too much. You know, it'll be sometimes you be in your feelings. And it's okay when you keeping it keeping it real and transparent. Every day ain't going to be a good day. You know, I'll be telling people, it's okay to say, you know, there'll be like the video I put out the other day talking about, there'll be moments where you get tired of being strong all the time. Or there'll be different times where, you know, people will say, you don't realize how strong you are. And you'll be like, man, if you, I struggle just to hold my helmet on today. And sometimes that'd be messed up. That, that thing got propellers on it and got all different colors. You just really don't know how I'd be reflecting. But there'll be a lot of times. Well, shoot, it'll be all the time. There'll be some people that, you, you know, you straight, you know, um, really see you, see you how a lot of times we don't see ourselves. You know, and they said, we see this beautiful person. We see that you have gone through different things and you're still trying to show up for other people. That is so brave of you. That's so beautiful of you. A lot of people won't tell you that. You know, if you know, if you, you're that type of person that really lacked love because you didn't get that around you. You were always that person giving it, giving it, giving it. Always trying to prove your worth to other people. But yet you still have no problem with projecting love, even though you were neglected that. When you weren't that person that was truly supported and just being able to say, hey, you can do anything you want to do. There is no dream that's ever too big that you can't achieve. There's nothing that you will come to face that you won't overcome. And when you're not told that to, and then there'll be people that come to you. And a lot of times we doubt our power. I said, why do you think that God, universe, will come back and it will have people just come and tell you their whole life story? you be like, yeah, you don't even know me. What are you doing? And it will be just like... God wants you to recognize there's something very special in you if there's somebody who really put their guard down just to be able to tell you stuff like that you know and you're really wanting you to s see that love that other people are being guided for you to be able to see within yourself you're starting that me movement you know and you're going through these different changes in life and it's not easy it's not easy it'll be a day where it just seemed like things is it, like all hell breaking loose and it'll be like an avalanche she'll come all at one time and you're just trying to stay like a woo side like oh my god you almost about to rip your earlobes off you've been grabbing them things too long you know and it, or it'll be just something that like there'll be different times where i'll be feeling in a funk you know what? and i said I feel like getting on here and making a video. I'm not trying to throw funk off and nobody I ain't trying to project that. I want to be able to do something positive, get out this negative daggone circumstances, really truly out of my control. And by the time I finish that, I may be tired, but that was that determination where I refuse to stay in that funk that is totally out of my control. And when universe is guiding you to do that, to do something very therapeutic for yourself. If it's just to sit up here, you 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 outside and you see a a, a senior citizen struggling to get across the street, or you see them trying to hold back or different things like that or it's raining they're slowly walking and you got an umbrella you walk them clear to their pot you don't know how many blessings you just doing that without it being selfish like that when you being selfless like that you don't realize how many that one little self act of kindness that you did that beautiful word or you know uh act of kindness you don't know how many blessings you prepared yourself for just to be able to do that because you're like i want somebody to do that for me you're starting the me movement you know, these are the different things that's truly needed in the world today. You're trying to create peace. You're trying to be able to have kindness. But at the same time, you know, some people feel like when you're doing that, you know, you're allowing yourself where your boundaries, where people are trying to force you to have your boundaries. Don't know. You can show love and kindness, but you still be silent on the boundaries. No means no. If I don't feel like talking to you today, you can't force me to talk to you. If I don't feel like coming out today, you know, and, and I changed my mind, I have a right to do that. You know, I don't want to feel obligated to do anything. If it's something I'm forcing myself to do because I feel like, oh, somebody did this for me. I want to do that for you. You know, and it's just like, okay. I'll be able to do it for you, but today I'm just really not feeling that and being honest enough to do that. Because a lot of times we'll want to, um, you can, when you know you're still going through trauma bonding, it's like if you don't pick up the phone um, and answer somebody or they just want to chat or whatever or they had to talk to you or they text you and you didn't do something and you're trying to pull out the, all this long gated ex explanation that's letting you know, hey, 
you don't have to explain yourself now this is different if it's a boss or something like that but if it's just other people where you just maybe you didn't feel your best today and you didn't feel like talking and it's just like hey you know I got caught up in some all personal stuff you know my bad I hope every, you know if, if everything is okay and you know just being able to do that if you don't want to pick up your phone today or you have somebody that's coming over your house and they didn't call you first you know, I used to always be like that. If you didn't call me first and you just dropping by, I used to get mad at my kids when they opened the door like that. I'm like, hey, stop doing it. Well, it's great. I don't care who it is. It, it could be Obama at the door. If I don't want to be bothered and they didn't call me before they got here, don't you open my door. <laughs> you know, you always used to tell my kids that. And it was just like, now I see when they got their own houses, like my mom felt like being bothered. I said, now you see how I feel. You know, because a lot of times people, you know, you tell them, hey, call me first and they still want to override your boundaries. They're okay, don't get upset when I don't open my door, you know, and you're staying in your boundaries because it's like everything, you know, it's a give and take situation. But when you're allowing yourself to see the change that's taking place in your life, and you're appreciating everything, even when it's at times where you're really struggling to stay balanced and, you know, and really, you know, having an issue with being enlightened at that moment. Mm -hmm. It's just allowing yourself to know when you say, you know what, I'm not perfect. If I know I allow myself to keep working on these different things in my life, you know, pretty soon it's going to work out for me. But we have to stay positive. You know, they always speak kindness towards yourself. You know, it'd be like, Ugh. you know, it's hard for me to do that when I got stuff going on. And even sometimes you got to be that voice of reason towards yourself. Even though I'm going through something today, don't mean it's like it's going to be like this every day. You got this. You, you're going to get through this. going to understand. Be moving. Then when you're starting to allow yourself to apply all these beautiful changes and transformations towards yourself and start projecting that towards other people, like you can't, you know, within yourself can change the whole world, but you really don't understand how that is like a chain letter for other people that will start that. I know they got this, um... Thing if you're um, um, uh, either if you're in New York, like the Bronx and stuff like that, I think it's like the Bronx and Manhattan and Bed Stuy and stuff like that. Even when I seen it on um, on YouTube, like they have the commercials in between the videos and stuff like that, when they have ads, I was like, dang, if I was in if I was in uh, uh, New York, I promise y'all be doing that because they got this thing called Daybreakers, and it was this lady was like, you know, how they had the raves and stuff like that, and, you know, on the parties, and just for her doing it, I said, this is what I'm talking about. I was talking to my friend about this the other day. I said, this is what I'm talking about. There's so many different beautiful things that we're trying to come together at, and where all of us is doing it in some kind of way, you know. We're all on our own path trying to change humanity, trying to be able to change ourselves, unprogramming ourselves to program ourselves on being, moving through truth, you know, integrity, authentic, authenticity, being transparent and everything we know, being unapologetic when it comes to your power of light, you know, and all that different stuff. And this woman was like, you know, where we can have these parties where people drunk, high, doing all this stuff in the middle of the night. Why don't we start this stuff in the morning where it has yoga, where we have meditation, um, Pilates, and, you know, just raving in the morning. And then you having juice and breakfast and stuff. It was like almost, I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. I said, I promise you, if I was in New York, I'd be doing this right now. Because you, you can tell, like, a lot of people probably doing this before work. Because it's probably like 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, I think they're doing it. And it will be... Like therapy, she says therapy you can do for like five years and you'll have it in three hours. And it looks so fun. People are up there dancing and having their little energy drink or having their lattes. And I'm just like, Dad, this is what I'm talking about. That's a me movement. You know, when you're going through these things, that even though she was like it was a bummer for them, you know, when the pandemic hit because, you know, we had to be, you know, distancing and quarantining. So people, when they couldn't do this, like they usually do they did it on a uh, line and started doing this stuff like you're seeing people you know teaching salsa or you got a guru doing you know uh meditation and stuff like that you know these are just the beautiful things that we're doing you never know and i always say this you don't know what your struggle of a story is for you healing when you're going through a level up when you're going through a beautiful breakthrough you don't realize what struggles and what things you have faced will be a blessing to end inspire somebody else you are inspiration that will inspire many and you keep allowing yourself to have that kind of verbiage that's going through your mind i may be struggling through something i really don't know what my purpose is but i know if i'm staying open to universe and god because when you allow yourself to not place resistance and change and like that you don't know what you're staying open to and they know it's hard you know sometimes we backpedal 
But when we're allowing ourselves to know, dang, you know, I messed up today. Okay, what did I do? You know, I allowed myself to give my power to somebody. And, you know, and instead of keeping it, you know, I took on that when I left myself open. Okay, well, you knew what you did wrong today. Now, this is yourself allowing yourself to understand you only have control of your actions, what you want to openly give out and what you openly want to take in. A lot of times you got to just shield yourself and just be looking. You ain't got anything to say? I did. But you didn't say anything. That was the whole prank. <laughs> you know, and you're going to allow yourself to do that. And when you're allowing yourself to work on yourself every day, that, that becomes a ritual for you. And you don't realize that ritual for you is really projecting out and as well is sending out you know it's just really projecting out a me movement which is truly needed so i hope you were able to resonate with content of this video y'all i love y'all so much thank you so much for the emails the text messages the dms you know it's truly appreciated i'm glad that you're able to really resonate with the videos that i have you know and a lot of times it, like i tell people it's not easy to get on here because you you know you're leaving yourself open to judgment you know there'll be a lot of people that will be able to appreciate it but you'll have a lot of people that want to sit up here and make you doubt your own self and i mean that's where the real true challenge is even when you really don't see the fruit of your labor you know it makes you discouraged at times you got to keep going so i'm just glad that i really have that that goes on in life where y'all really are showing me hey you know your videos really help me you know it explains a lot and it really allows me to know that i'm not in my situation by yourself no you're not even when it feels like you are you know we have moments of doubt we have moments of being discouraged we have moments of feeling lonely feeling betrayed whatever like not being heard or whatever but you don't know what this is prepping you for so don't allow yourself to give up please do not whatever you're facing right now if you like i always tell people if you just need a moment of solitude to yourself just to really get your thoughts together not thinking negatively you know putting your mind on things that are out of your control and you know we got to reprogram ourselves and this is what we're doing we're starting to meet to move the me ooh taking the two out the me movement you know within ourselves that we're trying to project to the world so allow yourself to stay consistent allow yourself to know whatever i'm struggling with today I keep allowing myself to keep giving that to the universe and allowing that to fix it and just saying universe you know i'm really trying to allow myself to be open to change and i'm, I'm really wanting to be that and when you allow yourself to really speak to god and universe and guys like that they are willing to make th this is when they're going to really start making moves for us you know and when you're seeing it which you know what you deserve you stay open to that you'll be seeing everything that's going to start scattering out your life dropping out of your life there's no longer deserving and it's truly you know it's not no longer serving you so it, it'll at times it may get lonely but at least it's open you up to something that's truly deserving to you and it's going to be on your level to really take you there either it's going to be along with you or that journey is going to take or open doors to new journeys that you didn't know so i hope you're able to resonate with that i always leave my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking or even if you want to chat or just trying to get somebody to understand you because i know a lot of times like Roz and i'll be going through this and i really try to tell people and they really don't understand what i'm going through they make me think i'm crazy so or i feel like i'm being harshly judged and i tell people i don't judge anybody as long as you ain't touching little kids knocking old folks out you know down the flight of stairs or you know harming you know people just because you got that that's for ish and giggles and stuff like that other than that I, hey we good <laughs> you we are really really good so um you know and i try my best to be able to help out the best way i can whatever we speak on is confidential and like i said i try my best that i can you know um just being able to give you that you know that that voice of reason or just being able to let you know hey you're not alone we're going through different things if you just need somebody to listen to you or just try to understand why certain things is going in your life i try my best to be able to help out with that if you ever are interested in podcasting i also do my podcasting or if you're interested in that also i got an awesome app that i use um for that and it's like i'm not a tech savvy person it's really simple to be able to do that and plus you can get paid from it and you can expand your fan base of listeners as well so i also got that on my community page as well as uh different posts different memes you know if you need a little laugh today or just having a gentle reminder of some kind of you know uplift and positivity is just to give you some kind of comfort i also have those on there too if we're going through a very huge uh transition and there are certain things that are hitting symptoms you may not be feeling like you're going cuckoo for cocoa puffs not really like understanding you're going through a kundalini moment so i you know i always try to make sure i put those on there because i know everything is intensified right now and i know there's a lot of upgrades and there's a lot of uh 
downloads you're getting you're probably very tired you know you'll be you know energetic and you when you're purging out all that you know you get really tired and you know you just need to you know have to do things strategically you know have to do it take a break come back at it do it again you know if you have that time to be able to do that go ahead please do that um and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. Whatever you're working on to bring it to your fruition uh, on your manis, you know, hey, I'm sending whatever vibes you need. I'm sending it to you, whether it's consistency, courage, uh, determination, motivation, focus, you know, whatever you're needing. I'm sending that out 20 million times full. You know, keep on going. Whatever God is placed into your mind, he can place it into your heart to place it into your reality. There are no dreams is big enough that you can never do, but you just got to put in the work for it. You can't put it on. It's like, I want to manifest this. You're not putting the work in it. That's where, that's where it comes in. The work has to take place. So, you know, sending that towards your way, you know, stay consistent and persistent and determined and motivated, you know, never sleep on yourself, always stay woke, you know, God, uh, God placed you into this power movement for a reason, your purpose is really truly needed and you matter, and you know, the devil already knows your potential as well as your light, so he will make you second guess that and will send people towards your way to make you do it as well, stay, stay woke, keep on going if you need to take pause for a cause you do that but you come back a lot stronger than you fell back off okay so much love to you you know um stay uh safe and responsible at every single thing you do even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words lies frequencies you never know those things really take somebody a long way and just for you doing that for selflessly it'll take you even further so much love to you god bless shalom um i say much love to you peace